Go. Hey, it's Sean Calgi back with Rob Gill. It is Fun Friday, uh, and we're talking about how we're great gaining 2020 vision, seeing what you don't see, where we crush fear and distortion, mm. and we create breakthroughs and dreams. Dude, this is the best four minutes, which sometimes is three, sometimes is five, uh, on the internet whatsoever and anything about creating opportunities in your business. So there's like 10 subjects we talked about this morning. Yesterday we discussed how there's some things going on with your accountant. Just by just shifting the language of how they're having the meetings, we're gonna create massive acceleration. We've also talked about the fact that you don't pay me as a coach, I don't have any share in your business, we're friends, and you come speak at some of my events, and that's the extent of our relationship. And I don't have any share in his business either. Absolutely not. Yes. So, so this is real stuff. Yes. And, and none of this was planned to shoot a video, but things that grew out of the things that we did this morning. So acceleration there, Rob's gone from eight meetings to 25 meetings, just paying attention to my videos. That's where we had our first Major intersection. Major distinction, properly qualified meetings. Properly right? qualified. Yes. So from eight so-so meetings yes. to 25 mm -hmm. highly qualified Major difference, meetings, yes. Where you're helping people find money that they're getting ripped off from. Yeah, in right? all areas of their wealth, not okay. just, not just in right. everything. So, so let's get to some more stuff. So we sit down and we're having a conversation about Rob is partnered with David Deal. And I'm like, Rob, like, what are you guys doing? And he's like, well, you know, I'm like, dude, what are you doing? That's I'm like, the voice. David, what are you doing? <laughs> Rob, what are you doing? I'm like, like, guys, like, you're David Deal. Like, right? Like, you're David Deal. Like, people want to meet David Deal. I'm, I'm sitting in the front row at, at Tony Robbins. Like, Tony Robbins wanted to meet David Deal. True story. The guy won two Super Bowls, right? Like, yep. so that's an amazing thing. Like, and Tony Robbins can meet anybody on earth. And he's like, yeah, I want to meet David. Like, David's a cool guy. He's gigantic. He's good looking, right? He's incredibly articulate. He's got a great heart. And he won two Super Bowls. Who doesn't want to meet David? In David. New York. In New York. Two Super Bowls in New York. Right, in, in his home. So the, we go, is this a David Deal hype session? No. It's a wake up Rob Gill and lovingly, right? Wake up David, right? Like you guys need to be doing more because people want to meet David and we want to all create meetings. There's power in that. So we discussed the fact that, ready? Watch this. John Spring, right, is your partner. Yes. And his amazing wife, what is her business? Laura Maddox. I'm, I'm fixing everybody. Yes. What is her business? Uh, she is a private personal shopper at Barney's for celebrities. For celebrities. I, can, I can, know can you see like where this is all going? Can you see where this is all going? Yes. Right? Have you met with any of those high-end celebrity clients of hers? No. No. Is that silly, folks? <laughs> what are you doing? And and wait, do you think some of those people might be like, hey, let's all go to dinner and hang out with David Deal? You're a celebrity, David's a celebrity. Let's mix celebrities and let's talk about it. Super Bowls and celebrity. Do you Absolutely. think that Tiffany, you're shooting this video, do you think that would work? Absolutely. Right? Do you think the celebrities would want to meet David Deal? If Tony Robbins wanted to meet David Deal, would these other celebrities you think Rob want to meet David Deal? Absolutely. You walk around Giant Stadium and it's like, Double D, David Deal, what's up? Like the whole place. And some of those people are like, they're not just like, you know, the, the people sitting in normal seats. These are the people in the super boxes, the rich people, the wealthy people, and all kinds of people want to meet David Deal. It's true. Right? So, so why, here's the question, right? Now the magic is not to, to be critical of Rob, because there's process mastery, the what you're doing. So we're talking about what you're doing. But the what is never being followed because of something else in the emotional context. That's where this all is. So why hasn't this been done yet? I know the answers. You tell it real quick. Don't tell the whole story. Bullet answer. What's the bullet? The honest answer of why you haven't said to John, let's do this. The question I say to myself is, when are they going to find out I'm not going to know? Right. And so the answer, right? So watch this. So you don't want to ask... You don't want to ask John because you're afraid that maybe it'll ruffle Laura's feathers, right? A little bit. Is that fair? Yeah. No, no, no. Laura's, Laura, John and Laura is dynamite. It's just that. Have you standpoint. asked Laura to do this? No, I have not asked her. I don't think it's my place. Boom. Personally, I don't. Boom. Know. Like, it's not my place. Yes. I was working with the amazing, awesome Matt Johnson the other day yep. in Moore Ave in West Palm. Yep. And he's like, I had the same thing. Yes. I'm like, do I belong on Tony's stage? Is it my place? I, yes. I, I do believe I belong there. I was like, do, should I like show up like this? Or should I be like, oh, you know, so folks, like who should I show up as? Is it my place? Is it my place? And Matt helped me really see, is it my place, right? Yes. So you're asking the same question. We're all asking that question. Yes. And, yes. and Matt helped me create an awesome breakthrough and got who's Matt Johnson? Matt Johnston with Jonathan Cohen and Trillions, amazing people. And I said to Matt, hey Matt, 
What's your place? How come so many people in Platt know me more than they know you? Actually, I have a breakthrough. Right? Just think about what you're saying right now. I'm thinking because when we go influence mastery, which I'm pretty yeah. good at, right? We talked about and that. And Matt's like one of the smartest humans I've ever seen, which breaks on his nerves because he's like, I don't want everybody to know that that's more. <laughs> the minute lengthy, right? So we're all, and I'm sorry if I'm like dropping bombs here, Matt, but I love you. He's going to be maybe mad at me. I don't know. I hope oh, not. Boy. Right? Because Matt's freaking unbelievable. He is unbelievable. Good. Love that guy. Like, yeah. he is brilliant. He's creating breakthroughs. Like, the world needs to know him at a high level, in my yes. opinion. And that's a lot of what I do here, yes. is just try to like tell the truth yes. and expose truth. But well, here's, all right, you know, so, so I'm just sitting here thinking, and this is what happens when you're around, you get, shit just starts happening, you're thinking, and I'm saying to myself, okay, Influence Mastery, pretty good at it, done pretty well with it. Sean has gotten me down the path of Process Mastery, so we're going from eight to 25 meetings. And then the question is, well, how come you're not pushing David and or how come you're not pushing John and his wife? Because first he sees his pushing as opposed to Language is everything. How about right? co creating? Right. Okay, fair enough. Yes. Because you think it's pushing. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, Go ahead. Fair well, enough. you said pushing. Okay. Yeah, but I don't know. Maybe my, my language on the dictionary isn't. Okay. Anyway. He feels pushing. Okay. Good point. So he, he, the point is this, though, in my mind, in my thinking, is like maybe those lights are bright. And maybe as they get brighter, I don't want to have performance anxiety. How about that? Yeah. I so maybe it. that's kind Before of... Maybe people like me, they'll find out I'm not good enough is what you exactly No, that, that's the old question. You have yeah. David Destiny, we learned that. Crush that David Destiny. Yep. You know, so, so I think that's where I've gotten the process mastery down on, on I don't want to say lower level, that's not fair, but what I mean is maybe a, a non-bright light scenario, right. whereas I think those lights get brighter. Yeah. Right. So here's a simple point. That's here's my a simple point for Love you, brother. Yep. Here's a simple point. We're all doing this. Like, the what to do is easy, right? If you are not connecting it to limitations and like the emotion. Yeah. The what to do is easy. David Deal is your partner. Does David want to grow and expand yes. his message? Yes. Right? Do you want to grow and expand? Absolutely. Right? So what do you guys, and, and like, and, and as part of it, it's like, well, I don't know if I should say that to David. I, 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 you, know, you know, maybe David, like, you know, right? Like, there's just all this, like, dance stuff that goes I'm not on. Not sure if that's, I think it's more we have to spend more time with each other. Right? But, but I don't know if I should ask David for more time. Because maybe David's, like, busy and stressed. Like, yeah. all of that goes on for all of us. Just communicate. Yep. Like, be clear. Be open, be communicating, be flowing, like in everything that's going on. And let's like get rid of all this. This is my place. Am I enough? Me too. I'm not just talking, I'm like, by the way, in all these videos, I'm talking to myself, right? Because when I was standing up on stage, I hit a little bit. People were like, oh, he did a great job. I know I didn't do the greatest job I possibly could because I could have I could have stood up and talked like this to people and said, Joy Platinum, right? But I didn't know because I was introduced in a certain way and I made up a whole story. They're like, no, but I should have been like, yeah, that. Like, like, listen, everybody. Tony well, Robbins' is stage. Yeah. yeah. I got awesome. it. Right? But, like, I, I, but I was there awesome. to serve Tony and his mission and the incredible things he's created. Absolutely. And I could have done it even. People are like, oh, it was so wonderful. And I'm like, yeah, but I didn't rip it open. And I didn't, I wasn't emotionally creating the highest level of emotional transportation I know how to do. Yep. Because I was like, is it my place? Right? Is it my place? We all ask ourselves, is it my place? We have to like rip that stuff open and realize and, it is our first And step. to Sean's coaching today, what he specific, and, and once again, we, I've learned this on a break to watch one of the to Tony Robbins and I take my notes, but Sean today very quickly said, listen, forget about everything else, make a date and time and just set something up. That's an action oriented, you know, make yeah. a, set something up, make set a call. Set it, don't, once don't you set the I date. I call Laura today, call yeah. David, set something up and it's a go. Yeah. Right? So and listen, we're gonna, we're gonna come back with one more. Uh, this is fun Friday, we'll do uh, Super Saturday. So listen, Sean Callagy, Rob Gill, we're all just learning to see 2020 vision. We're crushing fear and distortion and creating that 2020 vision. Take care.